What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and we are in downtown West Palm Beach, actually on the Palm Beach side, about to shoot the fireworks for the 4th of July. We've got an excellent spot here. We couldn't ask for a better location. We've got the barge right there. We've got beautiful, clear skies for tonight, and what I'm gonna try to shoot are defocused fireworks, meaning that um, I'm gonna start with the camera out of focus in a one to two second exposure, and then during that same exposure, during the one to two second exposure, I'm actually gonna turn the focus ring so it comes to focus. So you're starting out of focus and then racking and going to focus during a one or two second exposure, and that should create a flower or kind of this jellyfish looking thing up in the sky. I've never done these before. I don't have any idea if they're gonna work out, but couldn't ask for better conditions, so we're gonna try it and see how it comes out. So the settings that I'm using are ISO 100. I'm gonna experiment around just F5.6, maybe go all the way up to 11 and see what works best. Uh, just gonna shoot with this little uh, shutter release here, super simple. Just gonna hold it, shooting on bulb mode, I'm just gonna hold the shutter release down so it goes for one or two seconds. So I'm starting out of focus, hitting the shutter release to start the exposure, following the firework in the sky, going to focus, and then releasing. So it'll be a one or two second exposure. Wrapping up, really good fireworks display, lots of footage of that. Um, it was a lot harder to get those flowers than I thought it would be because just finding the positioning and everything and changing the settings and you have such a short time and everything. But got a couple cool ones. So. There you go. It's kind of cool, kind of did the effect that I was looking for. But anyway, um, that's it from here. I know that's a short, super short vlog, but that's all I want to do. I just want to try to shoot those. The most, uh, I found that ISO 100 right around F7.1 was the best. Um, I was getting the best results at that. And just kind of shooting as wide as I could to get as much of the sky and hopefully catch one. That's it. Have a good night. So I just wanted to wrap up the defocus fireworks video that I just shot. I wanted to give a couple of tips and just things to keep in mind when you're shooting those defocus fireworks. Number one is uh, I was shooting with this. This is a Canon 60 Mark II with the Sigma 24 to 105 lens on it. I thought in my mind that I would be able to kind of follow the firework and isolate one or two explosions and then defocus on those. I found that nearly impossible to do. So many different variables involved. There's no way to tell where that firework is going to explode really. So what I ended up doing was just shooting about, I would say around 50 millimeters, not all the way wide, but um, if I had a completely dark sky, I would probably just shoot at the 24 range and capture whatever I could and then just zoom in or crop um, the part of the image that I like. The images that I'm gonna show you here, I have cropped those. Um, generally I try to shoot you know, straight out of the camera when I'm doing uh, my light painting stuff. Um, but with these, I definitely cropped in a bunch um, just to isolate the part of the image that I like the best. So that is one thing. One thing is, again, shooting wider and just getting more of the explosions in the frame and then cropping and going in on the parts that look cool. Worked really well. The other thing that I found really difficult was um, the fireworks were all different brightnesses. So shooting about 7.1 seemed to work the best for me for the overall display of fireworks. However, it would have been cooler, I think, 
with a little more wide open aperture. So if I would have been able to go like 4.0 or something like that, I think it would have had a better result. However, the way it was working is I was just getting blown out images at anything, like even 5.6, my images were blowing out. I almost feel like it would have been better if it would have been a smaller fireworks display. Um, I think maybe it would have been easier to line up the shots and then also I think it would have been easier to um, calculate the settings. But because there were so many fireworks exploding at once, there was so much light getting into the camera, I found that shooting at 7.1 was really what worked best for me. The other thing that can be a factor in shooting these defocused fireworks, or any fireworks display really, um, is that you gotta consider the smoke, which way the wind is blowing. So you wanna be upwind, so you want the smoke to blow away from you because you don't want it blowing into your shot. Those are the three main things that I wanted to mention. Number one is shooting wider work better. Number two, about ISO 100 and 7.1 seemed to work best for me. However, I think that's because it was a very large fireworks display. And then just keep in mind the smoke and that's it. So if you guys shoot any of these, share them with me. I'd love to see them and share them on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Now, that was my first time shooting these. If I can figure out a way to really get good results consistently, I'll definitely do a tutorial on this. And it is something that I will absolutely be shooting again because I did like some of the results that I got. I thought they were really cool. And there's a ton of stuff that is going through my mind that I wanna try. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. and. I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much and happy 4th of July.